guys welcome back to another episode of m crater uh for today what we're going to be covering is double jump so basically just a script that i put together with a key bind and pretty much uh just a couple procedures but uh, it allows you to basically jump after you've jumped initially so there's a few different uh systems here uh we can jump up four blocks in total with the regular jump uh, it, it should actually help with fall damage if you time it perfectly as well. Uh, there's also support for lingering potion or leaping potions. So we have the level one. <clears throat> and I died apparently. <laughs> All right. So there was, uh, as I was saying, I think there was a zombie or something there. I don't know. Anyhow, there's... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice today. Uh, we have leaping potion of two and leaping potion of one so basically these add support for different heights so we can jump up a total of eight blocks with this one the leaping of one and the other one i had to play around with a little bit but it's actually 12 blocks not 14 so if we grab this potion we can oh well it helps if i'm not in creative i guess so let's go ahead and try that again we'll sit set the game mode and then we can jump all the way up to the 12th block so uh one single jump uh can allow us to jump up a number of blocks uh this one will allow us to jump up basically this amount which is i think like eight or something like that this one should be five and then that one should be two so i will reset that and we actually already got the potion in our inventory so oh we'll need this one actually so we'll grab um a milk bucket as well so we can get rid of that and this one allows us to jump up five blocks so let's try that again it's a little bit tricky to use at times but once you get used to it it's a little bit easier so one two there we go and that's basically the uh, initial jump plus the actual jump, so the double jump. And you can set the amount of number of jumps to however much you want. So you can set it to one or two or any specific number. And a single jump uh, allows you to, without any potions, you can hop over fences. Um and blocks that are too high so this is really handy in the world when you need to use it like for exploring all right so let's take a look at the keybind we're just setting it up to the space uh bar so when we press the jump key we can actually jump and then we're basically just running this particular uh procedure right here so basically what we're doing is we're testing if the game the player is in survival or adventure uh, these are the two things that you're going to need spectator doesn't have really a jump mode neither does creative uh, then you have if the entity is not on the ground so if they're in the air in this case we would have already jumped and then we want to test if the um, player has a global variable for their persistent that is basically their time so this allows this variable allows us to know how many times we jump and then we're basically setting that variable subtracting it by one until we get to zero now then we're testing for the leaping potion and the potion level and then we're basically using movement vector to move upwards we're using the velocity to keep the um the actual motion of the x and z coordinates so we're only going to go upwards everything else is inherited we're also testing for the uh potion of two and then we are just running the default script so all those values in there seem to be working fine for those particular jump heights this is the reset script we're doing this on a player tick update so basically what this does test for if the player is in survival or adventure if they are on the ground and if the value is less than the value that you want for them to jump extra. So in this case, I have it set up for two additional jumps. Uh, you can set this to a number that is higher, but uh, that correlates to this number here. So we would want to set it up to match the same number. So for example, two and two would allow us to reset that value. 
And that's basically it. That's all the script that it requires to make a double jump mechanic. Uh, just a simple keybind, a script for the keybind, and then a reset system. Now again, you will need one number variable that is either a uh, persistent player variable or a variable that is based on the um, uh, lifetime, but once you have that set up uh, for that particular thing, you'll be able to use that in the script that I've provided. So outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, write the video, and uh, there's actually one more thing. If you wanted to add potion effect condition to run it from a potion effect, you can just basically uh, add this to the uh, particular thing. You can also do this for enchantments to chest if the player is wearing a specific enchantment or armor with a specific enchantment and run this additional condition. But anyways, uh, that's all there is for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.